<clears throat> All right, we're going to do this problem together. First thing you should do is get your lovely... Our formulas, right? I'm going to put it... I'm going to put it down here at the bottom. You'll see why I'm going to put it at the bottom in a minute. But we'll just scoot it down there to the bottom. All right, so this problem, this is part two. This is, they did not say find the cosine of something. They said, in this question, if you look at it, it says what formula to use. What formula do they want me to use here? What does it say at the top? Sine of U plus B. So if you notice, guys, they gave me information about triangle U and they gave me information about triangle V. So this is a diff, we've already talked about all this stuff. You got, as soon as I go through it, you're like, oh yeah, I remember this. We've already talked about this stuff. This is just a different way to ask how to find the exact value of one of our sum and difference formulas. They told me information about two triangles. So I'm gonna write down triangle U over here. And then over here, I'm gonna write down triangle V. All right, I have two different triangles. They, well, let's remind ourselves. We have sine of u, we have cosine of u, and we have tangent of u. If they give me x, y, and r, or if they give me two of them, we find the third one, whatever. Sine, remember, is y over r, cosine is x over r, and tangent is y over x. So write that down. We should remember those <coughs> lovely ratios. Same thing over here, if I'm talking about V. Well, the sine of V is gonna be whatever the Y is over the R. Whatever the cosine of V is, is going to be X over R. And then whatever the tangent of V is, it's going to be Y over X. So if you guys remember, when they told me that the sine of U is four over five, they're telling me two of those letters. Are they not? What are they telling me when they tell me that the sine of u is four over five? What over what? Sine. What's sine? Y over r. They're telling me that y is four and r is five. So right away you can write down, okay, I need these three letters. I need x, I need y, and I need r. I already know that y is four, and I already know that r is 5. So in order to find my x value, guys remember it's x squared plus y squared equals r squared. I don't know what x is. I do know that y is 4, so 4 squared equals 5 squared. x squared plus 16 equals 25. When I subtract 16 from both sides, I get x squared equals nine. So what is my x value? Three. Okay, you guys remember doing that? All right, that wasn't too bad. That's pretty much the hardest math you're gonna have to do throughout this. Now I look up here, they told me something else. They told me that the sine of u is four over five, where u is between what? What did they tell me u is between? zero, and do you guys agree with me, pi over two is up here? So if it was in between that, it means it's in the first quadrant. What do you know about the x value, the y value, and the r value? They're all what, if it's in the first quadrant? All positive, okay? So I can just leave x is three, y is four, r is five. Before I go on to the next triangle, you don't have to do this step, but I'm telling you this will make your life so much easier. I'm going to write down what the sine, the tangent, and the, co and the cosine are. Sine of u is y over r. So the sine is 4 over 5. Cosine is going to be x over r, which is 3 over 5, right? And tangent is going to be, what is it? 4 over 3, okay? That information is extremely important. We found all that. You guys have done that before. You know how to find all that stuff. But it is extremely important when we're about to do our work here. So now I'm going to go over to the other triangle. They told me some information over here about V. All right. 
they told me, again, I'm going to find X, I'm going to find Y, and I'm going to find R. They told me that the cosine is negative 12 over 13. Well, first of all, cosine is whatever what? X over R. Okay, that's good. So they told me the X value is 12, and they told me the R value is 13. But one of them is negative. Which one's negative? X. Why do you know that X is negative? R is always positive. If you guys don't remember that, you're still like, oh, I don't know which one's going to be negative, right? They gave me this second piece of information. They told me that this angle is between what and what? Pi, pi over 2, which is here, and pi, which is here. So it's over here. What do you guys know about the x values and the y values when it's in the second quadrant? X is, x is negative, and y is what? positive. So if you didn't know where that negative sign went, that second piece of information will tell you. So now all we do is use our little Pythagorean theorem, x squared plus y squared equals r squared. So I get negative 12 squared plus y squared equals 13 squared. Negative 12 squared is 144 plus y squared equals 13 squared is 169, right? So y squared equals 25 when I subtract. So I get y equals how much? What's the square root of 25? 5, good. So I get that y equals 5. Now, that's enough information. We don't have to write anything else. But I'm telling you right now, the best thing you can do is to write down that other information that we did from our last triangle. I'm going to write down the sine of v. I'm going to write down the cosine of v. And I'm going to write down the tangent of v. So sine would be what, given this information here? Sine is what over what? Y over R, so it's 5 over 13. Cosine is negative 12 over 13. And tangent would be 5 over negative 12. Okay. Questions so far? Anybody have any questions? Can I move this now? Oh, well, I don't have to. All right, go back to the beginning because we have not answered the question yet. What are they asking me to find? Sine of u plus v. Okay, so they're saying to me, find the sine of u plus v. So which formulas do I look at, sine, cosine, or tangent? sine okay and I want which one the top one or the bottom one the top one right because they're telling me so so the letters are s and t it doesn't matter replace them with u and v so what I'm going to do down here I'd actually like to write, write over, over this, this. Hang, hang on one, one second. second okay so I want to just cross this out so we have more room hang on all right, this is the formula that we're going to use because at the beginning of the problem, it said find the sine of u plus v. On your sheet, guys, they use the letters s and t. It doesn't matter. They're not going to, they're going to give you different names for the triangles, so just name them whatever you want. It doesn't matter. You can rename them s and t. You can leave them as what they are. It does not matter. But I'm going to rewrite this formula, and I'm going to say, okay, I have the sine of u plus v equals and the formula is the sine of triangle u times the tr cosine of v plus the cosine of u times the sine of v if you want to put parentheses around so you can see a little better that's perfectly fine but you have all of the information you need to put into this formula right here in these two boxes that's why i think this is so important you don't even have to think so I'm literally going to say, okay, the sine of u, well, sine of u is 4 over 5. So 4 over 5 times the cosine of v, that's negative 12 over 13, plus the cosine of u, which is 3 over 5, times the sine of v, which is 5 over 13. So just take a second, look back at your boxes, make sure you filled everything in correctly. And now we're just going to simplify. Multiply your numerators together. 4 times negative 12 is negative 48. Denominators, 5 times 13 is 65. 
plus 3 times 5 is 15 over 5 times 13 is 65. Notice at this point, we have common denominators. That should happen every single time. If it doesn't, you need to look back and say, okay, where did I make a mistake? I should have a common denominator. Maybe you input the wrong trig function in the wrong place, whatever, but just make sure. Now, since we have a common denominator, we can combine like terms in the numerator. Negative 48 plus 15 is negative 33. So the sine of u plus v for this triangle is negative 33 over 65. You always simplify if you can. Um, in this case, obviously this does not simplify, but always simplify if you can. So in a problem like this, they're not just telling you find the cosine of some degreed angle or the, some radian angle. They're giving you two pieces of information, one about one triangle, one about another triangle. And all we did was go through, find x, y, and r for both of them. Then we wrote down the three trig functions that we use in all of those formulas. And we used the formula that they told us to. We substituted in all the values, and we simplified the problem. There you go.